Boys, if you're looking to add that brand new shiny player to your team in Madden, don't gamble with packs. Hit up Red Zone Coins for cheap, fast, reliable coins to help build your team. Use code WAS to get 20% off your order. What is up, WAS Squad? Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we are going to be ranking cornerbacks. We did a poll on Twitter and on YouTube, and y'all overwhelmingly voted for me ranking the top quarterbacks in Madden 21. So that is what we're going to be doing today. And of course, a couple of coin giveaways. We'll do one during the video, one towards the end of the video. So make sure you stick around to see how to enter those 100,000 coins. But let's go ahead and get into this tier list. So I did this with wide receivers a week ago, and y'all seem to enjoy it. So I'm going to be doing the same thing here. Just the straight up tier list. If you want this, I'm going to put a link to it down below. You can definitely go and rank them as you see fit. You can go send it to me on Twitter and all that stuff. Tweet it at me. I'll retweet it. Any of your picks, all that cool stuff. Let's go ahead and do it though. So AJ Bui. I don't even honestly know how you say his last name. He's in D tier. doesn't matter. I've got a lot of notes written down here, but we're going to go over here. So I basically did all the way down to the 90 overalls, but he's got 89 speed, 93 Excel. The biggest issue with Boyd, the reason he is in the lowest tier is this 84 man coverage. You're going to see a theme throughout this ranking. If they can't hit the thresholds, which we talked about thresholds and wide receivers, but if you don't know, they need to be able to hit 90 on man coverage and zone. If they hit 90, that's when they play better. They perform better. They get better animations, all that good stuff stuff and you can get plus five to man coverage and zone coverage from getting locked down all the way up to 50 out of 50 so if they cannot get 90 basically they have to have 85 here to get 90 if they don't get that then they're going to be in one of the lower tiers especially with not enough to get the uh, threshold in man coverage man coverage is super important in madden 21 this year it's the meta it sucks it's annoying to play against but it is very good for a reason uh, so if he doesn't, if somebody doesn't hit that, they're going to be pretty low on this list. Just letting you guys know some of these players are okay, but they just don't hit those thresholds. And that is very important. So AJ boy is just not very, very good. 90 overall. He is only 75,000 coins. So not too bad. So you definitely could use him in the slot or anything like that. I would definitely not put him in man coverage if you're using him, unless of course you have him in his power up and then kimmed up all the way. Then he does hit it, but just looking at his 90 overall, it does not hit it. Up next, we have Antonio Cromartie, and he is like the opposite side here. He is A tier. He is very, very good. He is one of the 50 players. Looking at Cromartie here, he is a 92 overall, six foot two, which is very nice to have a little bit of height there on the outside. 91 speed is what holds him back from getting into S tier. He's not one of the top speedsters in the game at cornerback. That is very important. Speed is king, just like in wide receivers. That is the most important stat for sure. Uh, but 92 man coverage is very nice because he's already hit the threshold without powering up. 87 zone coverage is close enough to hit the 90 threshold without having to power him up too much with Cam. So not bad overall and turn Kamari a very good card now onto byron jones he's going to go into c tier and a couple of weeks ago byron jones would have been a and i think s tier but let's go ahead and look at him here obviously we got him for ultimate kickoff a while ago one of the cheaper cards on this list 90 overall at six foot with 90 speed 92 acceleration that 90 speed was very very good at the time but again just like with boy here he's not going to hit that man coverage threshold unless you have him powered up and chemmed up all the way that is not good at all so that's why i have him in c tier i have him one tier higher than boy because he does have 90 speed and a little bit he's got 93 jump he does have some really good athletic traits but because he's not able to hit that man coverage threshold at least not easily he's going to be very very low on the list still a pretty good card i do have him on my no money spent team so he's not bad but just you know every card i should have said it to preface this video but every card in this video is very very good these are the top cornerbacks in Madden 21, we're going from 93 down to 90s. The minimum are going to be 90s. So they're all very good, but just something to keep in mind that he it's very hard to get him to hit that threshold, and that's just kind of annoying. Next up, we have Champ Bailey, and he probably should be in S tier, but because EA sucks, he is going to be in A tier. You see, he's the 93. He is the highest base rated card on this uh, squad, all the cornerbacks and all that stuff. But looking at him here, 93 overall with six foot, only 91 speed. That's very disrespectful to Champ. Uh, 91 acceleration. I'm not ranking the player. I am ranking how... EA built this card. 93 man coverage is nice. 87 zone. So very, very good all around, but like nothing really jumps off the page other than that 93 man coverage, which is nice, but with only 91 speed, that's not, again, the top tier speed that you really want with your cornerbacks. Nice 86 foot. Anything under six foot is going to knock him a little bit as well, just being shorter. Champ Bailey should absolutely be an S tier with his stats, but unfortunately EA screwed him a little bit with his speed and then zone coverage is a little bit low, but you know, it is what it is. He's going to be an A tier. I wish he was an S tier, but I just can't quite give it to him. Next up is Chris Harris jr and we're gonna throw him into b tier here a pretty good card but there is one glaring issue with him so he is five foot ten that is not very good and then 89 speed is a 92 overall is not ideal now he does hit the 92 man 
coverage and he will easily hit the zone coverage so he will hit those thresholds pretty easily but i dropped him down because of that 89 speed again a lot of the guys in the a tier and especially the s here are going to have 91 plus speed and if they're not going to hit that that 89 speed is just not going to do it for me guys it, it just in five foot ten is another thing he's shorter He's a good card and he plays very well. Again, B tier is not a knock on him entirely. Everyone in B tier is still very good, but just Chris Harris Jr., he's not one of the best cards in the game. You can see he's under 200,000 here, and that is because of that 89 speed. It, the speed is king. It is the most important. He doesn't even have like crazy jumping, crazy acceleration. He does have nice agility and everything, but just is not one of the best cornerbacks in the game. And it is unfortunate because he's a 92 overall, but Chris Harris isn't actually the fastest in real life, so that, that's fine, I guess. Next, we've got Cortland Finnegan, and he is going to be our second card into the C tier here. Uh, where is he on there? He is right there. Team of the week. So a quarterback that we got for team of the week. Another five foot ten guy. Not ideal. Just like I, I think Chris Harris was five foot ten. Ninety speed, which is a little bit faster than Chris Harris base. So why do I have him lower? It's because of these coverages here. These are also very very important. Speed is the most important stat. The second and third most important stat are man coverage and zone coverage, respectively. In my opinion, that's how I value them on my cornerback. So eighty seven man coverage is decent. Eighty six zone coverage is not. You can get them up to over the thresholds, but again, you have to do a lot of chem boost and all that stuff we're rating these cards as they are at their base so if they can get their thresholds that is nice and if they can't hit them then obviously they're going to be very 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 low on the list uh, just kind of taking that into account but ranking his base card just not going to be up there with the top guys 90 speed is fine if he was at 91 he would definitely be in b tier but because he's not we're knocking him down to c tier next up we got darius williams and he is going to be our first guy in s tier uh let's go and look at him he is a 92 overall just got team of the week he's actually very very cheap at 166,000, so that is not a bad price at all but 92 overall with 92 speed 92 acceleration so this is our first s tier guy and a big reason for that is that 92 speed five foot nine is his biggest weakness he is a little bit short this is the only thing this bumps him down to the lower edge of s tier but s tier is still very very hard to get into so very very good there with 92 man coverage and 90 zones so he hits those thresholds without needing any chemistry at all and also just looking at his athleticism 92 acceleration 92 jump 92 awareness 92 play rec that's really what you want from a quarterback he's going to be a lockdown on the edge for you you just throw him out there just somebody you don't even have to worry about i don't choose the orders for these lists but this is the second time we've had two Two S's in a row. Dion, prime time. Obviously, he's going to be S tier. He is always one of the top cornerbacks in the game. The only thing, his only weakness right here at six foot, all that. 82 press 82 press isn't great so you don't necessarily want to press him off the line uh 50 strength so he's a weak little dude uh but he's look at this he's a 92 overall with 93 speed 93 acceleration 93 agility with 90 jump uh he makes glitchy interceptions all the time he's an incredible incredible card we're gonna put him at top of s tier right now but a really really good card that you definitely want to have on your squad if you can power him up use the power pass whatever you have to do john sanders is always one of the best cards in the game that's why he's one of the most valuable and he does double as a kick returner and a punt returner so that's just a little add, -add bonus for him next up we got denzel ward and he's going to come in at b minus now denzel was one of the highest he would have been one of the highest on this list a couple of weeks ago but as it stands now he's a 90 overall with 5 foot 11 92 speed so that speed he has the pure speed that's what you want that's really nice that is very very good 89 man coverage is decent the 83 zone coverage sets him back big time and that is why he is all the way down here in b tier uh, not quite in C tier because of his elite speed that allows him to keep him up and everything. 90 overall is not too bad. You can use a power up pass on him there. Uh, but still a pretty good card. Obviously, he was LTD when he came out. He's not anymore. He's a series rear, so a lot, lot cheaper. Still a pretty good card, but just not going to be one of those top tier guys just because, again, he doesn't hit that threshold even with powered up and maxed out chemistry. 83 and below is really, really not good because even powered up and with max chemistry, you can't hit the threshold. So that's just really important to note. But Denzel Ward still a good card because he got 92 speed. That's really, really important. Next up, we have Desmond Trufant. He's going to be right here at the top of B tier. He's a 91 overall, one of the fall players that we can get. So just to be clear, he can go to a 92 or a 93. And if he goes to that, he will be bumped up to the lower edge of A tier. But as of right now, he is hanging out at the top of B tier with 91 overall with 6 foot, 90 speed, 86 man coverage, and 90 zone. So he hits the zone without any chems at all. Man coverage he can get pretty easily. So not bad overall. The thing that's keeping him in B tier and not A tier right now is this speed. So if he does get a 92 or a 93 upgrade, I'm hoping that they'll put his speed at 91 or 92. And if they do that, this will put him at actually pretty high A tier because that's not bad at all. Especially if they bump up his man coverage a little bit like that. It's a pretty good looking card overall uh, with a chance to upgrade. So we're definitely keeping him here at the top of B tier. And then if he upgrades, he'll be lower A tier. Next up, we have Dominant Rogers Cromartian. He is going to be our third S tier guy. And for some reason, they don't have his picture here, but whatever, who cares? 
92 overall. He is six foot two. That is very, very nice. Uh, the other Cromartie is only 91 speed. That is what separates him from A tier and S tier. Dominant Rogers Cromartie is going to be 92 speed, which is very, very nice with 91 man coverage and 89 zone. Now, he just barely makes S tier because most of the S tier guys, I believe they hit the threshold without even needing any chemistry at all, but he is nearly there. Even if you have locked down, I think it's five out of five or 10 out of 10, you get that. So it's very, very easy to hit, get him to hit all those thresholds with 92 speed, really can't beat that at all. 91 jump, good athletic player. And the six foot two really puts him over the top. He's a tall guy on the outside. You can see how expensive he is. He's very, very valuable. Dominant Rogers Kamani, one of the best corners in the game for sure. Next up is J.R. Alexander for the Packers, and he is going to be down here in C tier. We got him for scary fast. A lot of people thought he was going to get the 92 overall, and he did not. He is 5'10", so a little bit on the short side. 92 speed, 92 acceleration. I feel like I should say this for my Packers fans. This is obviously rankings for Madden, and not necessarily in real life, because he's a obviously very good corner in real life. Uh, but looking at it, he's got 92 speed, which is very nice. But the big bad thing right here is, of course, that 83 zone coverage. That's not what we like to see. That doesn't hit the thresholds or anything like that. I mean, obviously, you know, Packers theme team and all that, whatever. But he does hit the uh, man coverage threshold, which is nice. So just put him in man the entire time, and he's not that bad. That's what keeps him out of D tier, that man coverage being high, and then obviously the speed. You know, I am going to put him at the top of C tier. He is floating between C and B. Uh, but overall, just not one of the best cornerbacks in the game. They did him a little bit dirty with some of his coverage stats, but... Still a really great cornerback. Next up, we have the Derwin against the world, Jalen Ramsey. And screw this card, he's going into D tier because I still have him on my team because he's not. You get him for free, but he's just not good. So 6'1", 88 speed, he's a 90 overall with 90 acceleration, 89 man coverage, 88 zone coverage. His stats are actually pretty decent. I'm not going to lie to you guys. His stats look pretty good, but screw this card. He's not good, okay? I have him on the field all the time. He just jumps in there. He's like my fifth cornerback on the team. He doesn't do well. I hate him. He's not good at all. Uh, not a good... Uh, obviously, Jalen Ramsey is phenomenal in real life, but just I, I don't ever like his cards in mutt. So we're throwing him down here in D tier. If you disagree, I'm sorry because his stats do look pretty good. But just overall, I, I don't like this card at all. All right, let's go ahead and do one of the 100,000 coin giveaways. Shout out to my little ads that always pop up on here. Uh, tell me which next gen title you're looking forward to the most, whether you're going to be able to play it or not. If you have next gen, nobody has it because it's impossible to get. But Demon Souls, I'm very excited about, you know, non Madden, but just let me know which next gen title you are most excited for. Give me a way to contact you and that'll enter you into one of the 100,000 coin giveaways. We'll do the other one in just a little bit, but let me know. Next up is Mr. Marlon Humphrey for the Ravens. We're going to put him at low B tier here. Uh, 92 overall, so he's an LTD, so still pretty expensive. I think he has a Redux now. I actually don't even remember. So 6 foot, 92 overall with 90 speed. The speed's a little bit lower than I would like it to be, but 93 man coverage is nice. 85 zone coverage is a little bit low, uh, So, but you can hit the thresholds not too terribly difficultly. If you power him up and then put all the chems on him, you can get that fairly easily. 92 press is very nice. The 84 jump, so not, you know, not great. His agility is not great. That's why he is in the lower edge of the B tier, but still a very, very good cornerback. And obviously on my Ravens theme team, he's great, but we don't account for that crap at all. Uh, Marlon Humphrey is going to be lower B tier. Next up we have, in honesty, guys, I have no idea how to say his name. Nemandi, uh, how do you spell it? Nemandi Asamuga. I'm so sorry. I probably just butchered the crap out of that. He is going to be down in C tier. Where's his name? Nemandi Asamuga. That's 100% correct. If it's not right, then you're wrong. 91 overall, six foot three. His best thing is that he is six foot three. That's very nice to have on the outside. But 89 speed for 91, not really doing it for me. 98 acceleration, nothing really else. Crazy athletic, 90 jumps, decent. But 91 man coverage is nice. The big smoking gun with this guy. Y'all can see here already, 82 zone coverage is not going to do it for me. If you have him in man coverage 100% all the time, always man align him, then he, he bumps bump up to like B tier, high B tier. But if you ever have to run him in zone, he's not even close to hitting the threshold. So not a very good cornerback at all in zone coverage. And that's what keeps him all the way down here in C tier. Next up is Pat Pete. We're going to put him at the tippy top top of the A tier. Let me go here, 92 overall. So Pat Pete. Always has pretty good stats. The best thing about Patrick Peterson is that he plays like a glitchy animal. He plays out of his mind. His animations are always great. They always code him well. He's 92 overall, six foot one, 91 speed, 92 jump. Everything is great here. 92 man coverage, 90 zone. You know what? I'm actually, I'm bumping him up to S tier. I didn't want to have too many in S tier because we've got one more in S tier. But Patrick Peterson is always one of the best cornerbacks in the game. And honestly, he should be a starter on your team more than likely 
even if he's not one of your highest rated. He plays so dang well, in my opinion. Let me know if you disagree. Patrick Peterson is so good at 92 overall. Uh, we're putting him at the lower edge of S tier, but just a great cornerback. Love having him on the team every single year. He's always great. It's going to suck when he's no longer in the NFL, but he'll definitely get like a legend card or something as soon as they get the rights. So this is definitely one of the best cards in the game every year. Next up is Richard Sherman, and he is also down here in the D tier. Sorry if I'm triggering you at all. Looking at him here, he got one of the scary tall cards for most of you. He is six foot three. Uh, 90 overall with 87 speed. What the hell is this? 87 speed is awful. Obviously, he's not the fastest guy in the world. Uh, 94 jump, 82 man coverage. This is awful. 90 zone coverage, so he hits the zone. Kind of like uh, Nemandi, blah, blah, blah. Like we said a minute ago, always have him in zone coverage. You can't put him in man because that is just absolutely awful, terrible. It's because he's slow. So, I mean, yeah, he's fast. He'll go up and moss some people sometimes, but can he keep up with them? I don't know. 87 speed is not going to do it. Not, not if you're not up against a God squad. So he is probably the lowest rated guy on this squad. So just not a huge fan of Richard Sherman at all whenever I see him. He, he's just not a great card in my opinion. Oh, and by the way, I don't have him on the list here, but AJ Terrell just got a card yesterday actually with 92 speed, 90 overall, 6 foot 1, 85 man coverage and 89 zone coverage. I'd probably put him in B tier uh, just because of that 92 speed. I wish he had 93 because he I think he had like 90 when he was an 84 overall. So plus 6, only plus 2 speed. You know, it is what it is. Is still a really good card. He's not on this list, but I'd say I'd throw him in B tier. Pretty good card, especially for a uh, Falcon squad and then a budget beast. He's only 81k right now, so not bad at all. Next up, we have Tracy Porter, and he is going to be in A tier here. Let's go find his card. 91 overall team of the week and he's got 91 speed he is 5 foot 11 92 acceleration 89 man coverage and 86 zone coverage so he is the lower side of a tier in my opinion but he does hit all these thresholds pretty easily 5 foot 11 91 speed's pretty good 91 speed is kind of the threshold that i personally have for a tier if they're below 91 speed they're not going to be in a tier i hope i didn't you know contradict myself here i don't think any of these people are below 91 speed but if they are that's kind of my threshold um tracy port is still a really really good card plays really well really popular card 91 overall so not bad and he is very very cheap he's under 100,000. so go pick this one up if you can he's been in the game for a little bit and he's, he's a really good cornerback and the last one on the list that is getting added to madden today is shaquille o'neal mr shaq griffin he is up here in s tier and honestly looking at his stats he is top of s tier right now we'll put him let's put dion at the top We'll put Shaq right here. We'll put we'll put Cromartie here. Yeah, that's, that looks right to me as far as S tier. That's a little bit of a rank in the S tier, guys. Uh, Shaq Griffin, we're going to look at his stats here. He's coming to the game today as an LTD. Going to be very expensive. A 93 overall cornerback. So we actually have two 93 overalls now. Uh, 93 speed, 92 acceleration, uh, 88 man coverage, and 92 zone. So he's an 89 press. This card stats look absolutely insane. Uh, how tall is he? I don't even know how tall he is. He's probably like six foot. They're all like about six foot. But this is a very, very good looking card. He is coming to Madden today, like I said, and he joins the S tier. There's five people in S tier. I think I had four originally when I did it. But this is the final tier ranking here. And let's say to be entered into the 100,000 coin giveaway, give me your top cornerback in Madden 21. On, whether on this list, whatever, let me know who you think the best is and of course give me a way to contact you. If you want to see a similar style video for my wide receiver rankings, again I did it about a week ago, you can go check that out, I'll link it right here, I'll put it as an end screen and all that crap. So you can go check that out, let me know what you think about that. And just want to thank you all so much for watching, you all the MVPs, and as always I'll see you all in the next one.